let's try something else. In a plastic bottle, let's put a balloon and try blowing it up. It is impossible because air pressure builds up inside the bottle when the balloon tries to expand. The air inside the bottle cannot escape. So let's use a tack and puncture the bottom of the bottle. Now air can escape and we can blow up the balloon. When we stop blowing and don't block the hole, air re-enters the bottle while the balloon returns to being unstretched. This time, let's blow up the balloon, then block the hole with a finger. The balloon retains its shape because the pressure inside the balloon is atmospheric pressure and the pressure outside the balloon is less than atmospheric due to the closed hole. Air wants to rush into the lower pressure, traveling through the hole into the bottle, but it is being blocked by the finger. When we remove the finger, air rushes to equilibrate the pressure on both sides of the balloon. Now the balloon is just like any other deflated balloon. Let's try again, blowing up the balloon, blocking the hole with tape, then filling the balloon with water. Look what happens when the tape is removed. This is kind of mean, Dr. Smith. Ha, ha, ha.